How's it going, ladies and gents? This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog. We're gonna talk about Maverick's implementation of Safari top sites. Now, when you open up Safari for the first time, you see your list of top sites. You have 12 different sites there. Uh, you can click on one of the sites and it will load up the site right there on your browser. And there are a variety of ways you can open top sites. You can uh, use the command T to open up a new tab and that will display your top sites just like that. Or you can do command N that will open up a new page that will display your top sites. Or if you want to, you can go to history, show top sites, and that will open the top sites in the same window. So that way you don't have to open up a new tab or anything like that. Or you can use the, the keyboard shortcut associated with that command. And that is command option one. And that will open up your Safari top sites in the same window. Again, command option one that will take you back to your top sites. Now, speaking of top sites, there are some options that are associated with this. If you go to Safari preferences, you can actually choose how many sites are displayed. So you can make it display six top sites. You can go with the, uh, the default 12 top sites. We'll choose that. And there is the 12 or 24 if you really want to view a lot of the various top sites there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the 24. It's kind of hard to discern what's there. Uh, I think I prefer the uh, 12. So let's go back to preferences and choose 12 sites there. Now we're going to talk about actually moving sites around. You can actually now drag and move your sites around. You can pin your sites. Uh, you can close the sites out if you want to do that. Pinning the sites, just hover over, click the pin, and that will keep the site there uh, regardless of however many new sites come. Uh, it will keep it right in its place. Now, if you move a site, if you drag and move a site, notice it automatically pins that site just like it does in your, um, your dock there. Down at your dock, when you move a, a new app that's open, it will pin that app uh, so it stays in the dock. This is the same concept. When you move a Safari top site, it will pin it in that location. And of course, you can unpin it later if you want to do so, but this allows for you to keep it in the exact location that you move it. Again, you can just hover over, uncheck the pin if you want to unpin it. And you can, of course, close out of sites as well. So that is an overview of Safari top sites in OS X Mavericks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlock.